this is the side that I coated with Mod Podge. This is the side I left blank. Um, they are both completely dry now. This one I didn't like because I think I applied the Mod Podge layer too thick and that's on me. Um, so thankfully this was like one of my like least favorite pictures but I wanted to still do this picture in my collection because it is like one of the first like Marvel looks I ever created so of course gotta have that. Um, but I did go back and do two other pictures and this is one with a Mod Podge layer and you guys can see it's definitely way better than this one. Um, this one you can actually see just the thickness and the like Ugh, I live and learn. This was actually my first time doing this. So, I mean, this is still my first time doing this, but this is the second round of it. And you guys can definitely see it looks way, way better. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely way better. So, yay. So I'm gonna go back and do this picture as well as this picture. I'm gonna coat those with a light coat of Mod Podge on top to seal the whole top layer in. And then of course I have some of my eight by tens to do as well. I've already done two of them, but I'm going to do these two next. After I saw how good that the thinner layer of Mod Podge on top came out, I think it's safe to say that I can definitely do the Mod Podge layer on top. So as long as I don't, do it like this, where it's like thick and air bubbly and ugh. But I mean, you can't see it when it's far away, so as long as nobody's up on it, but like you can't see the Mod Podge layers unless you're really up on it. But the fact that you can literally see air bubbles and it's giving off a cast on this picture as well. Like I said, because I applied it too thick. So I'm going to go light handed. These are the frames that I painted the sides gold. So this was the one that I painted black first and then gold to see if it would do anything different. Like if I could use less gold um, layers, but it really didn't. Um, thankfully it dried fairly even. So like you can't really tell that I did black first. Um, actually, yeah, you can. It looks a little bit different, but thankfully this was like the biggest testing picture anyway so it didn't really make a difference two layers of the gold by itself did give me this um type of finish so i technically didn't need to paint it black underneath um because it kind of took away some of the luster so this one is kind of like a more antique gold and this is like that real golden gold that i wanted um but you live and you learn so it is what it is like i said this was a tester one anyway i mean mind you it was a tester when i first made this canvas it's all still rigidy and bumpy and stuff and i lived and i learned with this and i'm happy but my recommendation to you is color the canvas before you do these because that way you won't enter you won't have to like do the tuck in lining you wouldn't have to do that and you wouldn't be now I have a gold lining around my picture, which gives it a cute border. So I'm really not even mad. Also here are those pictures. So they are on the thinner canvas and these will be on those stands. And those are coated with Mod Podge, but a very thin layer. So you can't really see it. Um, and all the Mod Podge layers that I used were gloss layers. So if you want to, there is matte, there's metallic, and I think there is glitter. But for mine, I used the gloss one so that's why there's like a shine to it and certain reflecting light this is what the paint looks like with one coat this is what it looks like with multiple coats this is what the gold one looks like with i think maybe a coat and a half and then this is one coat and then i just like dabbed it on to kind of give it more of a textured look so that's what that looks like 
And then I did paint these stones black because when I originally got these, they have like a waxy texture on them and it, they're like more of a charcoal grayish black. And I wanted like a black black to match where they're going. So I painted these black. Don't judge me. Yes, I painted black stones black. Here's what it painted black looks like. Here's what it doesn't look like painted. It's like a grayish waxy type rock look. So now that I painted black, it has more of a solid look and i'm gonna paint the other side um of these i already started because i just kind of want to see how much paint i'm gonna use so now i know and i can go ahead and paint the other side of these and also i painted these black frames gold they didn't have any gold ones when i was buying these in store so at first i was okay with the black and then i was like eh, might as well so i painted them gold i painted one side so that side could dry and then once that side's done fully drying then i'm gonna paint the other side 